Val, um, good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, it's a couple of months into the job now. I just wondered, firstly, if you could give us a bit of an insight into you know the process of the first couple of months, what you were doing right at the start, and to where we are now at this point. Yes, I think since I'm arrived at Watford, it's uh, intense uh, um, situation. I think that it's uh, always the same when you're a new manager coming in a club. You need to to sort it all the the situation, personal situation with apartment and uh, all the stuff like that, and uh, for sure with the with the squad to work on the on the squad, uh, play in, play out. So it was uh, throughout the the summer, the early days, uh, the case. So and after we start the the preseason we, with the player, we welcome the the player back um, at the the training ground to to start to to put the rules in place um, that they got that understanding about. Uh, what will about this uh, this season, and uh, straight away in a training session as well to put the the intensity, uh, the right mindset to have every day to to come uh, into the, uh, the the training ground, and uh, and we go from there for week after week we start to to improve to to build the momentum in the in the preseason, for sure to have a lot of availability for the player is important for for a manager to to keep the the squad fit. So and then so far it's 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 all good. We are um, we are satisfied with the commitment of the of the player, the, the attitude, uh, the my the mindset is changing, the way to play is, is changing. So we just need now to make sure that we can reinforce the, the message every every week and, and to to training at that level every every week. Just a word on your backroom staff, about a month after you were appointed. Dean Whitehead's come in and Jack Riley as well and Omar Rees has come up from the 21s. Can you just give us a bit of an insight into sort of their roles and how that works with you and how pleased you are to have them with you? Yes, exactly. I think that um, uh, Dean um, is the one of the, the two assistant coach. Um, is important part for for the the way to uh, to play to reinforce the the message to the to the player on the on the pitch to to give that confidence. Um, another part with the with the set pieces. Uh, Rhys um, as the insider um, side from the uh, deep. A structure of the of the club from the players for the young players it will be a, a, a link uh, for for everyone at the club and for the for the for the staff Jack uh, Riley his job is an analyst um, video to reinforce the message for the for the player um, with unit clips uh, individual clips uh, team uh, team clips. Uh, from the training session, from the game, um, everything we need, everything that the player needs. So it will be the job from, from the staff. Great stuff. Um, three signings so far. Mateus Martins was confirmed this morning, so that joins Reese Healy and Tom Ince as well. How pleased are you with those three that have come in? Yeah, I think we show the the quality in the in the free players. I think the the, the free players um, will bring something to the to the squad. And um, as I said, important for me now is to make sure that the player get back to the in shape. Um, to make sure that they got that understanding what we expected from from them. Um, but uh, at the minute we are we're satisfied because we we are moving on the on the market, but not too fast. Uh, we. We've got time. We've got a lot of players to to assess, um, to take decision on, on some players, and uh, we want to give the chance to all the players to show up. So, but in some situation, some position, when we got that feeling, we have to do something that we will do. Yeah, um, with those players that have come in, a few have gone out, and there's been some players that have come back from loan spells, or some younger players that played last last season. Um, how important has it been to in integrate everybody, especially coming in new? Um, you know, to get everyone involved in a, in a clean slate to some extent. Do you think that's important? Yes, yeah, important. To, when you arrive as a new manager, it's important to give a, a real chance to the to the player to show up and um, to to get myself and uh, my own opinion on the on the player and don't get influence from from outside. And it's important for me and my staff that we can assess the player. Uh, only what we see on the pitch, uh, they are able to switch with the way we want to um, uh, to play. They are able to do the the job, yes or not. This is my job at the end to to take the the decision on the player. But at least uh, everyone will will get the chance to uh, to show up.
Uh, we're into the third season of pre-season, as we mentioned. Um, where are we at now with the players sort of buying into your philosophies? Are you sort of stamping that onto them now? I think we improve week after week. Uh, we see already an adaptation on the training method, uh, even on the pitch, but now we need the, the game. Uh, I think it's important to, um, to start the rhythm with the uh, friendly game and also to get that feeling, to get the feedback from the, from the player and to see how far we are already after, now we are the third week. Yes. Yeah, the next stage is the matches. Tomorrow we've got Boreham Wood. Um, what are you expecting from that game? What are you hoping to get from it going into the, to the next part of pre-season? Yes, I think just what we worked the last two, uh, two weeks with the player already in, in place and just to see, OK, what we put already in place and where we need to, uh, to work on. So for sure, depend on the, on the opponent, but it's exactly what we really have to, um, to deal in the, in the championship. You will start game, you will have a lot of possession. Some game you will have to, uh, to press uh, a lot. So the game tomorrow will be more the case. You will, be, uh, you will have to find solution in possession. So we work on all the stuff um, as well the last two, two weeks. So it's just the, to get that feeling, uh, how we react the, the team, uh, how far we, we put already uh, the, or implement the, the philosophy in the squad. And finally, you must be looking forward to meeting the fans tomorrow after two months in the job. Yes, I think that is a good, good thing, the first time to, to meet uh, everyone, just to, to get that feeling, the, the reaction. Everyone is, uh, is happy, it's a, it's a good feeling in the, in the pre-season. Uh, it's always a, a good time, a quiet time without any, uh, any stress, so we just need to, to enjoy the, the game and hopefully uh, nobody gets injured. Brilliant, thank you very much. Bill. Thank you. Cheers.